Climate Finance Day is a day, and it is a first, that shows the commitment of finance on an international scale before the annual United Nations Climate Change Conference, the COP21. It takes place on the 22nd May at the UNESCO in Paris, just after the Business and Climate Summit. It is organized by Paris Europlace, in partnership with the Caisse des Dépôts and the European Investment Bank. It will touch on crucial questions in the fight against climate change. The first step will be to encourage constructive and sustainable dialogue between the financial community, corporates, governments and international institutions. Climate Finance Day's aim is to boost private finance on its own or with public support, for instance, in public-private partnerships. It is vital to rally the private finance sector to gather capital on a large scale and reach the objective of limiting global warming by two degrees. Today, private financing does not prioritize enough low carbon footprint shares and financing projects with a lower carbon footprint is problematic. The financial sector, with French financial industry at the forefront, which represents 1.2 million jobs, recommends acting on three main points. First, define a price for carbon, which is the real climate indicator, a real compass, and organize an efficient world market. To reduce the carbon footprint of portfolio of big investors, whether they be of insurers, pension funds, or asset managers. Some international investment funds are already making efforts to do that. Propose new channels and vehicles for financing the energy evolution, responding to the imperative transition to developing long-term savings. Green bonds are a great example. The market exploded, grew tenfold. I am delighted that the Climate Finance Day is an opportunity for key players under the authority of Paris Europlace to publish a guide showing French leadership and expertise on the green bond market. Climate Finance Day has two main objectives highlighting the pioneering initiatives and showcase solutions. For instance, on decarbonization portfolio, a Norwegian pension fund has divested from 22 companies because of their high carbon emissions. We are already experiencing an abundance of innovations made by the financial sector towards climate, like investment funds dedicated to environment. Encouraging the financial sector to learn from these experiences, developing those skills which work best, so the sector steadily builds a collection of tools and appropriate standards. The Climate Finance Day will answer four main issues. First, how can institutional investors adapt their portfolio management towards climate preservation and bring them into line with uh, two degrees? Two, how can finance and insurance take into account climate risk in order to be more resilient and capable of adapting to them? Three, what banking and finance tools will allow the financing of green projects? And four, what are the innovative financial policies currently in place across the world which create a financial system favorable to climate investment? Climate Finance Day will compete to demonstrate the strong involvement of the financial sector which wants to take part in the worldwide fight against climate change.